Sometimes when animating an avatar, we want to isolate areas of the body that are actually affected by the animation. For example, we might have a wave animation, but we want to be able to wave while running, walking, jumping, etc. In order to achieve this effect, we can use an avatar mask. In this way, we can restrict the effect of this animation to be purely based on the arm of the avatar. Avatar masks can be created and used in two distinct ways, but the overall effect of the mask is the same. Avatar masks can first be created on a per animation basis. For this method, go to the Animations tab of the Model Importer by selecting a model in the Project panel and clicking on the Animations tab. When you select an animation clip, there are a number of properties that appear below the clip name. One of these is a drop down called Mask. Here you can create a mask that is unique to the specific animation you are editing. The other method for creating an avatar mask is to create it as an asset in your project panel by right clicking and selecting Create Avatar Mask. Once it is created, it can then be applied to the layers of an animator controller using the animator window. Creating and applying a mask this way will affect all animations on an animator layer. For more information on animator layers, see the lesson linked below. An avatar mask has two parts, humanoid and transform. The humanoid dropdown has a diagram of a humanoid facing you from the screen. This means that the diagram's left hand is on the right side. By clicking on each section, you can toggle its color between red and green. You can also click outside the diagram to toggle between all red and all green. The color indicates which parts of a humanoid avatar will be animated when using this mask. Green indicates that the body part will be used, and red indicates that it will not be used. For our wave animation, we have all but the right arm deselected. This means that only the right arm will be affected by the animation. The second part is the transform mask. Transform masks are used for generically rigged models and humanoid rigged models with extra bones. For example, if you had a four-legged robot or a humanoid with wings. Here you need to select the avatar to base the mask on. This is done using the circle select button. When an avatar has been selected and imported, a full list of all of the transforms for that avatar appear. From this, you can select or deselect which transforms should be affected by the animation. If a transform is checked, then it will be part of the mask and will move when animated. For example, imagine we have a humanoid avatar with a tail. In the base layer of the animator state machine, the character has its locomotion managed. On subsequent layers, other animations, such as attacking, are handled. It might be a good idea for these subsequent layers to have a transform mask where the tail bones are unchecked. This means that the tail is not affected by animations on those layers and will still be moved by animations playing on the base layer.